did it again! Please! Please! Good afternoon everyone and welcome to an interesting little impromptu video. I'm Andrew from Zero to Sixty and this is Mark from Street Effects. He's one fine gentleman. <laughs> and I say that because he's let me come down to Brisbane just to have a play in his Lambo today. Yes. Um, I've actually come down to film a video for my channel, uh, however it's I've got the feeling that Mark needs to start using his YouTube channel. He doesn't use it enough and he's got some of the coolest cars in Brisbane and that needs to be shared with the YouTube world. Mm -hmm. Why don't you share them more? I've got some on my Facebook. But Your Facebook is quite popular. Yeah, so yeah. I think I will start doing more YouTube stuff now, especially now. I mean, I just don't have the time to edit the videos. That's why I'm working with you. All right, well, I'm going to edit this one for him. We're going to get a YouTube video up, but we want you guys to encourage him to do more. He needs to share with this cool oh, stuff well. he's got. His 86, that GDR is retardedly fast. And the Lambo in particular, I'm pretty excited about. Yeah. But he's just shocked me. You've been me. a few different Lambos before, though. A couple. Yeah. Not a green one. <laughs> There's only three that are in Queensland, so... Actually, this is my first Hurricane. And it's fast. Much like something else, the first time it happens. Um, reason I've just started recording, Mark's just said he's gonna... He's thinking of getting rid of this one, and maybe possibly upgrading. Can you tell a few people about what's made you change, or why you wanna um, get rid I wanted of this? to get the... There's a new model of this coming out that uh, I wanna grab that has... Uh, some new technology for Lambo, so it's going to be the fastest Lamborghini ever produced around a track. Well, anyway, he's, he's thinking about upgrading it. Let us know if you think it's probably a good idea. If if you think normal Hurricanes aren't far, oh, this is so quick, dude. It feels so rapid. And I was in the GDR earlier really <laughs> today. It's slow. I can't believe you think this is slow. Um, anyway, we're heading over to GT Auto Garage. Yeah, first we'll go to my shop and then we'll head out to GT. Yeah, we're going to go for a bit of a drive and check out a few other cars. We're going to video them for you guys. Let us know what you think. First drive in the Lambo, that thing was absolutely insanely fast and it sounds so good so we're just checking out the street effects headquarters which you must knock to come in got the main offices upstairs a room and we've got mark's recently acquired rx7 so you said you just picked up this rx7 yeah we got it what, a week ago i think mm. something like that we're in the middle of working out what we're going to do with it. I haven't taken it to GT Auto Garage yet because they've got three of my other cars there and they're getting sick of me taking up all the room. So they said, I can't bring this to them until they finish the other race car. And so the other race car is the RB26 powered 180SX and it's, uh, it's our time attack car. It's pretty competitive, but uh, it blew the gearbox. So it's getting fixed up right now. And then when it's finished, it'll come back here and then this will go to GT. We're going to put a, I think we decided maybe should we tell people what we're actually going to put in it yet? Or no. should we let it up to oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. Well, actually, let's see if I can guess. So yeah. you get, just so everyone knows, this doesn't have no an engine in it. Yeah. It is a, a, it's a environmentally friendly RX-7. Oh, it's boxer. It's a boxer motor. <laughs> Forgot about that. Ah, that was a terrible joke. Um, yeah, what does, everyone, what does everyone think he's going to put in there? How many cylinders? It's either going to have no cylinders or it would have six cylinders. <laughs> I was trying to trick him into telling us that. Anyway, we need to go and get this Osmo to GT Auto Garage and that means another drive in the Lambo. So one thing, or well, the main reason we have come here, we've got to get an Osmo Which for is. GT Auto Garage. These yeah. things are so good. So that's GT Auto Garage. Yeah. And I didn't film it, but he just put the nose up on the Lambo. Yeah, that's got a nice, uh, it's lifesaver right tail. Oh, the SV is faster again. Oh, really? Yeah, it goes up and down real quick. That's good to know, because when I buy my SV, I'll uh, have a nice quick nose lift. <laughs> All right, let's go and check out what's going down at GT Auto Garage.
we couldn't really film in um, GT Auto Garage because they were on the dyno. That 33 did sound epic. Yeah. Did you find out what engine was in there? It's got an RB32, I think. It's a 3.2 or 3.4 litre. It's a. I don't know if I can say the power, but it's, it's a lot. close to the four digits at the moment, and it's not even running yet. So. Yeah, it's, uh, it was sounding good, but unfortunately we couldn't record in there. Yeah, um, I've got some loud. static shots of the 86, and yeah. I want to annoy Mark about them now. The the fabrication that's gone into that build, I remember when it went crazy online, there was a lot of photos, yeah. but I, it didn't really do that work justice. Yeah, that exhaust see. manifolds are brilliant. Yeah, that, that was all done in-house at GT Auto Garage. They've done all that. Whose idea was it to have the screamers coming out the bottom? That was mine. That was your own. I want to have flames out the wood. Are you going to run um, NOX or anything like that? No. No, no it shouldn't be. You, like, you don't need to. Like those, those engines are responsive enough. That is very, very true. The other thing, I remember when you first turned this thing into a wide body. Mm -hmm. What spurred that on and did you really cut the guards yourself? Yeah, well, I mean, I did cut part of them, but that was mostly me cutting like a piece that long and then I handed the anchor grinder back to Cameron's bodywork. So Josh at Cameron's bodywork, he, uh, it was basically just for the picture. Gotcha. Which I'm sure you can dig up and I'll send it to you so you can put it in this video. I will get it. I remember. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, other thing that's really cool, what's going on with the gearbox in that at the moment? It's a sequential six speed out of a V8 supercar. Um, so it's an Albans box. Yep. And uh, it's running a direct plate, sorry, direct clutch, twin plate um, clutch. And because, um, you know, normally uh, an R35 motor has a torque tube that runs down the length of the car and the gearbox in the back. Yeah. In this, we've got the gearbox up the front, so there was no clutches available for them because normally you've got your DCT and... Of course. Uh, so it's, uh, it's one of the first builds that's ever done this. So there's a few handfuls of them out there, but this and that Erebusu build for uh, Motive DVD, yep. Rick Gump, um, were done at the same time, so we sort of shared some of our tech. That's pretty cool. It. It's, it loves the business. The roll cage in it, how come you went so full on? Like, it looks uh, like a supercar roll cage. Yeah, it was, uh, it's the homologation cage for the 86 series. So okay. we wanted one that's CAMS approved, and that particular cage... Um, this thing sounds so good. Yeah, it's in the quiet mode at the moment, too. <laughs> um, yeah, that... Um, the cage that we were looking for, like we could either get a full custom one and it wasn't allowed to have so many braces, but because that cage has already been homologated, yep. we were able to use the design of that cage and we bought it from Neil Bates Motorsport and then ADE up in Queensland put it into the car and welded it and uh, then we got Cameron's Bodyworks to paint it. It is, it looks really, really good. It's just very complex. Also, who's designed like all the cooling and the front end aero on that car? PWR did all the cooling. Did they that? came out and they um, 3D rendered. They got like a laser scanner, mm -hmm. put it across the front of the car. And they have, um, if I can dig it up in the video of it, they have like this little laser thing where they scan it across the whole front of the car and then it produces a, a dimensions of what the radiator and the intercooler can look like. Then they made the radiator and intercooler and created the ducting between the two parts. Um, we've scrapped all non-necessary cooling from the front of the car, so things like the air conditioning compressor yep. and the air conditioning uh, condenser is not even on the front of the car anymore. But because I want this car to drive on the streets, where I mean, aircon is a necessity. necessity. Yep. So it's an electric, com an electric compressor yep. from Rencool that'll run in the boot, yes, and a um, condenser that's also running in the boot with electric fans. So it's remotely mounted. That's, that's actually pretty cool. I've never heard of I've never heard of anyone using an electric compressor on an aftermarket build. Yeah, no. Most people don't bother. They, they scrap the aircon. But I, it's a, I wouldn't drive it. Like because I mean, my GDR at the moment, one of the reasons I don't drive is because it's not an aircon. And the guys at GT Auto hate the fact that I want air conditioning. But it just, I mean, it's got to be enjoyable for you. Like you're never going to drive it if it's going to be like uncomfortable. No, I couldn't agree more. Uh, the last thing I wanted to annoy you about for the video. Turbos are on that thing. Okay, the engine itself is actually a HKS 4.1 litre stroker with a HKS GT 1000 turbine kit. Right. So the unique thing, I don't know if you notice, is that they're counter rotating turbos. So they're actually opposed. So one turbo is clockwise, one turbo is anti clockwise. Right. So that's why they look symmetrical when you look at them. So they go up like this rather than most turbos you'd have. Look at the engine bay, they both go snails yeah. would go. Both point the same way. That's cool. So they actually point the opposite direction, so it looks quite, it looks cool being symmetrical. That's really cool. 
Yeah, and they, they, those are rated to about a thousand horsepower normally, but on E85 you can stretch them further. Like I mean, GDRs are running a thousand at the wheels with those, so that's getting closer to the 1300 horsepower mark. That's going to be wild. What does the car weigh? About 1300 kilos. So, you mean, so we, we're, we're chasing the one horsepower per um, kilo. Wow. Which what? That's a cone exec one one. One to one to own the other car that's done it. Yeah. Well, I mean. I'm sure there's plenty of drag builds out there, but this is this is a street, street, car. Is a street car with aircon, with aircon and all the comforts and uh, power windows and a nice stereo and all that stuff. Uh, that is awesome, and I appreciate you letting me have a look through there. The guys at GT Auto Garage are actually really nice. Yeah, I was man, expecting them to be a nice bit. Me. Don't look at what we're doing. It's no, all secretive. They're so open. They're great guys. They're uh, they let us live stream their um, dyno runs and everything like that. So that's really very cool. Can't recommend it highly enough. Well, we're back on the road now, yep. and we're gonna. I think we should try and find a quiet road in the middle of nowhere and see how fast this little beast goes. I know a um, my friend uh, owns an industrial estate out in uh, the other side of town, so we can probably set it up there. Let's do some zero to hundred runs. Let's head there. I can't believe you've never put this in yeah. launch control. Just give me a sec, I need to look it up. You... I don't know, it's like... It's got to be in... It's definitely got to be in course, there we go. I think. There we go. How to do launch control in a hurricane. <laughs> it's Parker. Vehicle Parker. Virgins. Is he an actual virgin or...? <laughs> <laughs> if you read some of the comments on his <laughs> YouTube, you'd probably... I know how to do this. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do launch control in a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan. It's not all that difficult, much simpler than a lot of systems. The first step right here on the steering wheel is to switch the car from Strata to Corsa mode. The second step is to turn ESC off all the way until it says no okay, ESC no exclamation ESC. point on the dash. You put your left foot all the way on the brake and your right foot all the way on the gas. It revs it to 4,500 RPMs. Then you hold on tight, you let go of the brake with your left. All right. Okay. That's it. <laughs> wow, right that launch. All right, let's go and find the street. Yeah, Are we ready? Go. Okay, right, we've just got back on the highway and holy wow, this thing was rapid. If you go and check my channel, you'll see how hard it is to get a car under the five seconds. This did it easy. Yeah. 3.6. It, it was scampering off the line as well. It got a it lot was, of wheel spin. It wasn't a hard launch, but the second, oh, I hooked, man, that was impressive. I didn't think bad it was going to be this fast. I didn't think it was going to be this fast. I don't think you're going to build a car for 10 grand that's anywhere near that. I don't think we're going to be getting a sub four seconds here at 100 because that's, that's <laughs> not for 10 grand, but I think that we'll be able to get the quarter a, mile. a quarter mile in similar time, so uh, in a 10. All right, so everyone knows, I think I've managed to twist it, twist his oh, arm yeah. enough to commit. Well, as long as you help me with the editing, because I hate that. <laughs> I'm going to help with the editing, but we're going to make a YouTube series on builds for 10 grand. Well, or, or whatever the budget that suits that. So like it might be, I think the first one we're going to be going into is the $10,000 for 10 seconds. Then yeah. I'd like to sort of see, you know, um, What's the cheapest uh, we can get a uh, like a 10 second front wheel drive car? For yes, instance. that's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, that's what well, most people concentrate on real drives, obviously. Um, a budget four wheel drive build, um, a budget time attack car, drift car. Like, what's the cheapest you can get? Because a lot of these guys that are, you know we, we hang out with, they just don't have deep pockets. But you know, we want to sort of show that you don't have to have ridiculous budgets to have fun. No, you don't. Definitely not. Uh, some like, of these can be street cars. Like, I mean, I've. Back in the day, we had our own drift car. It was a road car as well, and just you know had the hydraulic handbrake and all the basics that you need. I'd like a hydraulic handbrake in a Lambo. I think that'd be pretty cool. They did that, did they? Yeah, that Newport Lamborghini place had the uh, the, the hydraulic handbrake. Was it a drift one? They that... drifted around the car park. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You got should... footage of that? I do. I Let's do. see if we can squeeze that in. <laughs>
Okay, um, but we're still we're still not dead set on a plan. So we want your input, and we want your input on the first build first. What do you think we should build? Well, I I want to go. I want RB25 because I think that's the most power that's going to suit the budget. But I, I don't. I don't know. J. You want one J? Yeah, I know a lot of our readers and viewers or whatever are going to be wanting V8s and stuff. So can can either of those match a Lambo? We're going to have to find out. And if, if anyone's got Ten any grand ideas, versus half a million dollars. <laughs> and before you say yes, it's half a million dollars in Australia for this car. Yes. So, if you've got any ideas on an engine, chassis, or gearbox combination that you think will do it, please comment below. And I'm thinking Crescita, T400 gearbox, 1JZ, boost it off its tits. I'm thinking RB25, bolt on, wound to the point of destruction, power glide, and an S chassis. Okay. Sounds good. I reckon both those have plenty of. Uh plenty of parts out there for cheap so it could be could be doable. We're gonna have to do some scouring. Mm. Anyway I hope you've liked the video guys. Um, please remember to comment below we really want your input. So anyway I'd love it if you guys subscribe to the channels because we're gonna be coming along with some pretty cool uh, like projects for you. Um, actually not just those project builds we're gonna we, we want to hang around with your actually, cars. Yeah I mean we've got a few different cars that we can take out cruising and some of our friends have got some ridiculous cars. One of our mates has got a twin turbo Gelato. We've got all sorts of rides that we can like uh, show to you and some of the workshops we get to see, even some of the places we go overseas as well. So hit the subscribe button. It's Street Effects Official. That's the, the name. So youtube.com slash Street Effects Official. And don't fall for the fake channels. It's There's really like annoying. six or seven of these fake channels. You know you're cool when you've got people copying you. Yeah, well the dumb thing is they have more subscribers <laughs> than I do because they actually post content. Everyone, please help sort that out. Subscribe to the correct channel. Thanks yeah. very much for watching. The next video is going to be up in a few days. Peace!